Okay, and at this time, I'd like to call on the Vice President, Dr. Tandy Tripp. Good evening. Good seeing everybody. Great seeing you. Oh, it's a pleasure to um, come before you and testify to some of the things I've learned since being in this school. And uh, class has been really good tonight. And Clovis and myself went through what Dan, uh, Tino went through today on Sunday. But it's a joy to um, talk about Yahshua. Get, um, get um, let's start with, um, uh, Luke 24, 25, and um, Isaiah 8 and 20, and, uh, John 17, 1, and we'll start there. Luke 24 and 25. Read. Then he said unto them, O fools. And then, then he said unto them, O fools. And slow of heart to believe all, the, all that the prophets have spoken. Read. Ought not the Messiah to have suffered these things? Read. And to enter into his glory? Read. And beginning at Moses? And he said, in beginning at Moses, read. And all the prophets? And all the prophets. He expounded unto them. He expounded unto them, or he went into great detail, read. In all the scriptures. In all the scriptures, read. The things concerning himself. The things concerning himself. So Yahshua the Messiah, when we go into the scriptures, they are pointing to Yahshua the Messiah. And this pictorial illustration before you is a result of a divine vision and revelation that was given to Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley in the year 1931. And um, continue the next scripture, please. Did you want Isaiah? Um, Isaiah and then. Isaiah 28, 9, and 10. No. 8 and, eight and 20. Read. To the law and to the testimony. And Isaiah speaking he, here, and he says, to the law and to the testimony. Read. If they speak not according to this word. If they speak not according to this word. It is because. About Yahweh Elohim, because he is the word or son of Yahweh. Read. It is because there is no light in them. It is because there is no light in them or no understanding. Read John, please. John 17 and 1. Read. These words spake Yahshua. And, and this is Yahshua before heaven. he is going to carry his cross. And he said, read. No Father, read fast, the hour read. is come. These words, read. These words spake Yahshua. These words spake Yahshua, read. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. Read. And said. And said. Father, the hour is come. Father, the hour is come. Read. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may glorify thee. Read. As thou hast given him power over all flesh. As thou hast given, thou Yahweh has given Yahshua power over all flesh. Read. That he should give eternal life. That he, Yahshua, should give eternal life, read. To as many. To as many. As thou hast given him. To as many as thou, Yahweh, has given him. Okay, read, please. And this is life eternal. And this is Yahshua, and he's saying, and this, talking about himself. And this is life eternal, read. That he is y life eternal, read. That. That. They might know. That thee. they might know. Read. 
That they might know thee, the, the only true Elohim. The only true Elohim, read. And Yahshua the Messiah. And Yahshua the Messiah. Whom thou hast sent. Whom thou Yahweh has sent. Now Yahweh, Elohim, and Yahshua, these, we always say these three are one. But Yahweh exists in three state and condition. A pure spirit state, intermediate, intermediate state, and, a, and then he manifests himself in the creation, after creating the creation, manifests himself or, or materializes in the creation as Yahshua. Yahshua got in his, after creating, he got into his creation. Okay, now, when Moses, Moses had three principal trips up here on the mount after he, the children of Israel had exited us out of Egypt, went through the departed waters of the Red Sea, and entered into the wilderness of Sinai. Then Moses uh, was called up. He had three principal trips. And he was called up, and Yahweh Elohim transformed before him, then to, into this intangible tabernacle, then into himself, then he showed the creation by himself or by this pattern. This pattern is the explanation of Yahshua or himself. Now, um, in the tabernacle, um, you have the principles of death, burial, and a resurrection. Now you have this tabernacle, which Moses has seen on top of Mount Sinai, that Yahweh on him transformed into, have the most holy place, holy place in a court roundabout, and one tabernacle with three parts, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, or Yahshua. Now, in this tabernacle down here in a court roundabout, you have this brazen altar of sin sacrifice. You see there's a principle of death, and then you have the labor is a, a principle of a bet will be a barrier. Then you have uh, where when you when they take the sacrifice, it will be a principle of barrier because they have to wash the sacrifice just as Yahshua Messiah had came to John to be washed. Then you have um, the, the cup of the holy, holy anointed oil, death, burial, resurrection. And then you have the principle of 40 here. You have the door four, and you have uh, four, uh, the steps equal to 40, death, burial, resurrection. Now, um, in order to learn anything about Yahshua the Messiah, you have to go back to the law or to the testimony. Get um, 1 Corinthians 15 and, and 1, please. Then we want... Um, Isaiah 28, 9, 10. 1 Corinthians and 1. Mm -hmm. 15, 1. Oh, 15. Mm -hmm. Because Paul here is, is going to be talking about the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15 and 1. Read. Moreover, brethren. He said, moreover, brethren. Read. I declare unto you, the I glad declare tidings. unto you the gospel, or the glad tidings, read. Which I preach unto you. Which he preached unto you. Which also ye have received. You received it. And wherein ye stand. You stand, or you believe in that, read. By which also ye are saved. In which you are saved, read. If ye keep in memory what I have preached unto, unto you. Keep in memory. What was preached unto you, read. Unless ye have believed in vain. Read. For I delivered unto you. I, 
For I deliver unto you, read, first of all that which I have also received. First of all which I also received. Read. How that Yahshua died for us. How our did Yahshua die? Read. For our sins. For our sins. Read. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. Read. And that he was buried. He was buried. And that he rose again. Then he rose again. Did, meaning he did it more than once. He rose again. Read. The third day. The third day. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. Okay. Now, um, and that is the gospel showing the principles of death, burial, and resurrection. Isaiah 28, 9 and 10, please. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Okay, and this is Isaiah speaking, and he, he is saying, Whom shall I teach knowledge? Read, and knowledge is one of Yahweh's attribute. Read. And who? who shall he teach knowledge? Who? Read. Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Whom shall he teach it? And whom shall he make? Make to understand his doctrine. Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Them, they, you say they? Them. Them who are weaned from the milk. And drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast. We're talking about the law and the testimony. It is like unto the milk of the breast. Read. For a precept must be upon precept. Precept must be upon precept. Oh, I'll go over here. Precept must be upon precept. Read. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. Line upon line. Read. Line upon line. Line upon line. You have a, a line of blood that leads to Yahshua. Then you have a line of water. We're doing death. death. Then we have a line of burial, and we have a line of resurrection. Read, line upon line. Here a little, and there a little. Here a little from the law, and here a little from the testimony. Read. For with stammering lips. And with stammering lips, and we're talking about blood, 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 blood. Water, 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 water. Um, spirit, 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 or death, 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 death. Burial, 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 burial. Resurrection, 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 resurrection. Read. And another tongue. And, and it's another tongue because no other place can you go and hear of death, burial, and resurrection but in these classes. Read, according to the divine vision in Revelation. Will he speak to this people? Will he speak to his people? Only his people will be able to speak uh, with stammering, stammering lips. And it's another tongue to the world because they do not understand this teaching. Read. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the this, weary to rest. This is the rest. I almost didn't come because the precious sky high. I mean, totally out the wall. And really, you need to be on best, uh, bed rest. <laughs> really. Be, with the, the numbers of the last few days. And it's caused by things that's going on in the mind that's bothering you. Some people, that's what happened. The bell rung when it was being, um, you know, being tested on the machine because it was just too high. And I thought, well, I'll just go home and I thought my appointment, just go home and 
get in the bed and relax and take this medicine, this new medication. And I thought, well, it is today, it is class, you know, and everything. But I need, really need to be in bed. But I thought, well, I'll come to class. This is the rest. This, will, this is a place you can go and sit and relax, you know, and, and Yashua will take care of what's happening. So this, and hearing this, it was so wonderful to come in here tonight and hear what was going on on the floor and everything. And it was really relax, relaxing my mind, getting your mind off of the world and, and things that's bothering you. Okay, this is the rest, coming and hearing about Yahshua the Messiah and going through these principles of death, burial, and resurrection, blood, water, spirit, 40, how he points to Yahshua the Messiah. Read, is, read. And this is the refreshing. And it's, it's the rest and it's refreshing. Read. Yet they would not hear. And, and the world is not going to hear it. Read. But the word of Yahweh was unto them, and precept the, upon precept. And the word, talking about Yahweh Elohim, was up on them. What? Was unto them, precept. Unto them, precept. Upon precept. Precept upon precept. Read. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little. Here a little again from the law is, 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 is no, it doesn't get old. I love going back to the law and to the testimony. Here a little in the law, read. And there a little. And there a little in the testimony, read. That they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Mm-hmm. Read. Wherefore, hear the word of Yahweh, ye scornful men that rule this people, which is in Jerusalem. Okay. Now, we will go through the principles of death, burial, and resurrection. Now, here, and, and you know, we need to get over in Genesis. Uh, it would be like 2.15. He gave Adam here a law and a commission, read, where he says not to touch was the law, and the commission was to be fruitful and multipl multiply. In order to do that, they had to transgress so they can go down, read. 16. Genesis 2 and 16. Mm -hmm. And out of the ground, oh, oh, uh, 2 and 13. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Elohim commanded it, uh, the man. Excuse me. You're probably reading from King James, right? I'm reading. Uh, uh, holy name. Okay. And Yahweh Elohim commanded the man, saying. Commanded the man, saying. Of every tree of the garden. Of every tree of the garden. Read the, Thou may freely eat. Read. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The tree of knowledge and good and evil. Thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day in that the day that thou eatest, that thou eatest thereof, mm -hmm. thou shalt thou shalt die the death. Thou shalt surely die. So Adam here, he took of that. Uh, well, his wife, Eve, and I think we go on over and get it where, well, that would be three and one. Because he said, in the day that you eat, that Adam will eat, he will surely die. Three and one. Genesis three and one. Mm -hmm. Now the serpent was more supple, subtle, subtle than any beast of the field. Read. Which Yahweh Elohim had made. He made the read. And he said unto the woman, mm -hmm. Hath Elohim said, Ye not eat of every tree of the garden? Read. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the, of the tree of the garden, mm -hmm. but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim hath said, Ye, sh ye shall not eat of it. Mm -hmm. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Well, she understood that part. And, <laughs> you know, 
but he gave Yahweh gave it to Adam. But she quoted back. Read. And the serpent said unto the woman, mm -hmm. No death will you die. For Elohim doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Oh, that's a new thing. Oh, we got to try that. Okay, read. And ye shall be as Elohim, knowing good and evil. And see, and that's uh, Lucifer was, that was his name when he was uh, in heaven. All right. So he was cast down to the unfinished earth in the 12th chapter of Revelation. So he had said that he wanted to be like the most high in Isaiah 14, 14. So he's putting that thought into her because that's what he wants. Okay, so let's get down to the, they partook of the fruit and they, and we'll talk about that death. Read. She got the fruit, and um, she ate, and then she gave to her, hus her husband. Six verse. Oh, three and six. Genesis three and six. Mm -hmm. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, mm -hmm. and that it was pleasant to the eye, mm -hmm. and a tree to be desired to make one wise, mm -hmm. she took of the fruit thereof. And did eat and okay. gave also unto her husband with her. Okay, she ate and gave to her husband. And he, and he did eat. Okay, so you have, they ate and what happened? Read. And the eyes of them both were okay. open. the eyes of them both were open. And then and knew. Before they were um, spiritually uh, communing with Yahweh. But when their eyes were open, they were open to the flesh. Read. And they both knew that they were naked. Because before, it wasn't a problem being naked. Now, they are, their eyes are open to the flesh. Now, that they see themselves naked. Okay, so that death was, Adam died in his conscience. Okay, in the day that he partook of that fruit, he died. Just as Yahweh said, uh, Genesis 3.24, death, here Adam is buried in condemnation. He's not laughing and all that stuff that people be trying to say. He was buried in condemnation. He was condemned. Read. Genesis 3 and 24. Mm -hmm. So he drove out the man. Okay, Michael here. Michael here that, yes, was here in the uh, most holy place. It was Michael and Gabriel. Michael being the warrior. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's the warrior for Yahshua the Messiah. And when Yahweh sent him out, because when we go back and we read those so called stories, and they're uh, like when they conquered uh, Canaan for 40 years, and you had David that took out Goliath, you know, it's just, uh, you know, a type. But you have that angel um, warring, you know. Then you have Michael, I mean, uh, Gabriel, wh which is the um, messenger. So when you hear... Uh, an angel of Yahweh came unto me saying, uh, you hear it in, all the way in, in, in uh, the law and the testimony. The word of Yahweh came unto me saying, and with, down there with Yahshua, you had Gabriel coming to Joseph to tell him about uh, the babe that was placed in the womb of Mary. So you have Michael and Gabriel operating, really is Yahshua being manifested as the warrior because he, Yahweh told, uh, told when uh, Moses died it, because Yahshua had to 
and he is the only one to take you over into the promised land. He told them to kill out those nations. So they went over there warring and killing out those nations, you know, that was Joshua. But, um, okay, so you had Michael driving Adam and Eve out of the garden. See, they were in this state, heavenly state here in the Garden of Eden. Now the, the sun, the sun was going down, all right, after they partook of that fruit, then Michael drove them. Then it was where, since we, I have a few minutes, let's get where uh, Yahweh said, and I think it's like the 20th verse where he was walking, they were walking in the garden. He said, who told you? Yahweh said, who told you? Uh, uh, you know, and, and the wind was blowing, meaning the spirit was moving. Then he, he had the leaves, and I remember Dr. Welsh, when he got up in one day, he took that Bible, and he flipped it. What do you hear? You know, and it sound like leaves. Mm -hmm. You know, when the wind is blowing, read, you got it? Genesis 3 and 8. Mm -hmm. And they heard the voice of Yahweh Elohim. Okay, now they heard the voice of Yahweh Elohim. Read. As they were walking in the garden. As they were walking in the garden. Read. In the cool of the day. It was in the cool of the day. Read. And the man and his wife mm -hmm. hid themselves. Hid from the, themselves. Read. From the presence of Yahweh. Trying to, but read. Amongst the trees read. of the garden. And Yahweh Elohim called unto the man. Called unto the man, Yahweh Elohim, read. And said unto him, read. Where art thou? Where are you? Read. And he said, I heard thy, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. Read. And I was afraid. Okay. He said, Adam said, I was afraid. Now, when they was in this heavenly state and condition up here in the garden, there was no fear. Now, all of a sudden, he's afraid. He's naked, ashamed, and afraid. Bad combination. <laughs> and over in when, when I think of fear now, because Dr. Lee Warren Penny, uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, if any, if any uh, enemy is, is more than you, Yahweh, I think he said fear not, Yahweh will fight your battles. So whenever something is going on, that I, I automatically think of that scripture, which gives me strength, gives us strength. And like when the previous speaker was talking about both of them going through, you know, these trials and tribul tribulations that we have to go through, and they are to help us get stronger because each, as time goes on, things are going to get worse and worse and worse, and we need to be strong and have the, har the whole armor of Elohim, you know, read. So fear, now he's afraid, read. I was afraid mm -hmm. because I was naked uh -huh. and I hid myself. Mm -hmm. And he said, who told thee thou was naked? Who told you? Yahweh said, who told you you were naked? Read. Has thou eaten of the tree? He asking him, asking Adam, read. Whereof I commanded thee thou... I commanded thee that thou should, should, shouldest not eat. Now that reminds me, as the previous speaker was saying about the father, when the children do something, the father tells the children or the son not to do something, and they do it anyway. Didn't I tell you not to do that? And that's what Yahweh is saying to Adam. Who told you? I told you not. I commanded you not to eat. Read. And the man said, uh -huh. the woman and whom Then now he wants to blame the woman. Read. And whom thou gavest to, to you be with gave, me. You gave her to me. Read. She gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Of the fruit. And Yahweh Elohim. And I did eat. No. Okay, and this last, when you finish it, and I'm down. And Yahweh Elohim said unto the woman, mm -hmm. what is this that thou hast done? What have you done? Read. And the woman said, mm -hmm. the serpent beguiled me. Oh, the serpent told me. Uh, he deceived me. Read. And I did eat. And then I ate. Is that it? 
And Yahweh Elohim said unto the serpent, mm -hmm. Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Okay, and, now he's cursed. Okay. Is that and, and above every beast of the field. Mm -hmm. Upon thy belly shall Upon thou go. Upon thy belly shall thou go. Read. And dust, thou, dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Mm-hmm. And I will put em enmity between thee and a, the woman. A great hatred between thee, read. And the woman. And the woman. And between thy seed. Thy seed. And her seed. Thy seed and her seed, read. He shall bruise thy head. Talking about Yahshua the Messiah. Going to bruise the head, read. And thou shalt bruise his heel. Read. Unto the, unto the woman, he said, mm -hmm. I will greatly multiply thy pain. And thy conception in the pain thou shalt bring forth children. And that's a terrible pain. Read. And it? thy desire shall be to thy husband, mm -hmm. and he shall rule over thee. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Dr. Tripp. And at this time, any questions or comments? Announcements. Classes are held every Wednesday and Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Sunday from 11 to 1 p.m. Please do not enter the room during the moderation prayer or reading of the scripture. There's a spiritual operation going on. Fundamental and regular and structural meetings are posted on the whiteboard. There will be a 9 o'clock this coming Sunday. A reminder that school is supported by our members. Pledges due at the beginning of each month. Donations are welcome and greatly appreciated. Please see the treasurer. From the Director of Public Relations, classes will be on Ustream. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, and LansingBible.Weebly.com. Director donations for the Ustream project is greatly appreciated for any of the special events coming up in Springfield, Northside Chicago, and Vanderkamp. Please see the backboard. Let's all rise for the announcements. Announcements for the doxology. Be quoting from the last two verses of the book of Jude, out of the Holy Name Bible. And now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time, now and ever. Let's unitely say, Hallelujah. Eternally, and so will the fire, I'm praying for thee. I'm saying it's going to rain, it's going to rain. You better get ready and bear this in mind. I showed no one with the rainbow sign. It won't be water, but fine next time. It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. You better get ready and bear this in mind. I showed no one with the rainbow sign. It won't be water, but fine next Sign. It won't be water, but fine next time. Way back when.